People will occasionally ask, isn't that just a theory? When referring to a scientific concept, but there is a huge difference between a theory and a scientific theory. People often get these terms confused, so let's clear this up. Let's start with the word theory. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, a theory is a hypothesis assumed for the sake of argument or investigation. Oftentimes, non-scientists will use the terms theory and hypothesis interchangeably. In science, a hypothesis is a possible explanation that still requires rigorous testing and significant evidence. So when the general public uses the term theory, they often mean it as something with little to no evidence, like it's just an opinion or a guess. An example of this type of theory is that the Great Pyramids were not built by the Egyptians, but were actually constructed by super intelligent extraterrestrials. But there's absolutely no evidence for this. Uh, another example is that there are large ape-like creatures that walk upright and live in heavily wooded areas. It just so happens that they are highly elusive and leave absolutely no trace of their existence. And no, personal stories and blurry photographs do not count as evidence. But there is a huge difference between a theory and a scientific theory. For starters, a scientific theory requires actual evidence. A scientific theory is a well-tested explanation for observations or experimental results that incorporates facts, laws, and tested hypotheses and is supported by a vast body of evidence. Scientific theories are continuously being questioned and examined, and in order for one to be valid, it must be able to pass several tests. One, it must be able to make predictions that are falsifiable. Two, it must be well supported by many independent strands of evidence. Three, it must agree with pre-existing scientific theories and experimental results. Now there is also a misconception that scientific theories eventually become scientific laws, but that is absolutely not the case. Scientific law just describes patterns found in nature. For example, Newton's law of universal gravitation states that any two objects with mass will attract one another. So if you stand on Earth and drop an object, it will fall to the ground due to a gravitational force. But this law gives no explanation for where that gravitational force comes from. A scientific theory, on the other hand, is one of the greatest achievements in science. They attempt to explain how things in nature occur. For example, Einstein's theory of general relativity attempts to explain gravity by using curvatures in space-time caused by those objects with mass. While it is true that theories can never be proven, scientific theories can be disproven. All it takes to disprove a scientific theory is evidence that goes against it. But after countless predictions and experiments that only produce evidence that supports the theory, it becomes less and less likely it will ever be disproven. Here are some examples of scientific theories. Atomic theory. This is a theory that states that all matter is composed of atoms and explains how those atoms behave. This theory has changed and improved throughout time, but it's not very likely we will ever abandon the idea of atoms. Germ theory. This is a theory that states some diseases are caused by microorganisms we call germs. It's the basis for why we do things like sanitize our medical equipment and wash our hands. It's highly doubtful we will ever stop these practices or that this theory will ever be disproven. Evolution is also a scientific theory. There is an enormous amount of independent strands of evidence that supports it, such as the transitions in the fossil record and the similarities in DNA among organisms. Evolution is what ties everything in biology together and allows it to make sense. So as you can see, something is more than just a theory if it has substantial evidence to support it. Then it's a scientific theory. And scientific theories are one of the greatest achievements by the human race in an attempt to better understand and explain this incredible universe we all inhabit. With the help of scientific theories, scientists have been able to make more correct predictions about the natural world than anyone or any group in history. So, sorry Nostradamus, but that's the cool thing about science. So stay curious, keep asking questions, and continue exploring the world around you. And next time someone tells you they have a theory, make sure you ask them for their evidence.